A PWA, or a progressive web app, is a website that functions as an app. You can do a lot of things with PWAs, including sending push notifications and offline access. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to convert a Next.js website into a PWA. The first thing we want to do is add the next-pwa package. This package will do all of the heavy lifting for us. The next step is to create a manifest.json file. This will tell the package some details about our app. We're going to use the following website to generate our file for us. Go ahead and fill out all of the input boxes. We have the name, the short name, the display is how you want it to be displayed. We have a couple different options here, but the one we're going to want to choose is standalone. Next is the description. After that, we have the application scope and the start URL. You're going to want to most likely leave that as slash. Next, we have the theme color. You might have worked with this before, but this is the color that appears at the top of the browser. So for example, I am in Safari right now, and you can see the top is black. That would be the theme color. Now Safari does generate that automatically, but you can also provide one if you'd like. The next property is the background color. This will be the background color of the PWA when it opens. And finally, we have the icons. You're gonna to want to upload your icon here so that this site can generate some optimal sizes of the icon. Once you have all that filled out, you can see it in the preview on the right. Go ahead and click the Generate Manifest button. All of that, you're going to want to put inside of the public folder. And lastly, change the extension to JSON. Next, go ahead and edit underscore document.js. If you do not have this file, go ahead and create it. We're going to want to add two lines here. The first is a link to the manifest, and the second is the Apple Touch icon. Finally, open up next.config.js. We'll first require our next-pwa package. Then we will wrap our exports with the package. Inside of here, we can set some options on the PWA property. We'll set the destination to public. We'll set register to true. We'll set skip waiting to true. And we will disable this PWA when we are in development. If you go ahead and run this right now, you will see that we generate a bunch of files inside of the public folder. These files will be different each time and we don't need them inside of our repo. So if you're using git, you're going to want to add these files to the git ignore file so that they're not committed to your repo. Now that that's all done, I'm going to go ahead and deploy this app to Vercel. So as you can see, the app is deployed and inside of Google Chrome on the top right, you can see I now have the option to install this app. If I do that, I can now open it up as a PWA.